Just for a start of this video, I'm actually going to be giving away two 10% grips worth 600 troll each to the first two comments. So congratulations to whoever won those. That is a huge amount of money. But for the main prize, I'm going to be giving away a 50% grip worth three quadrillion to one random person. So to enter that giveaway, all you have to do is just like the video, be subscribed to my channel with notifications on, comment your own game name on Imagine PS, and finally click on my referral link in the description below. And that's pretty much all you have to do to enter. So but good luck on that giveaway, and I hope you enjoy today's video. Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing a different type of video. I'm basically going to be showing how to get the most overpowered weapons in-game on Imagine PS. So yeah, as you can see in my inventory, we have them right here. Like the Cutlass, the Warbow, the Widowmaker, and the Spirit Binder. So yeah, this is a one-handed melee weapon, and as you can see, it's pretty OP, but the two-handed version has an insane strength bonus. And yeah, this is a pretty good range bonus, and this one is really good for magic. So yeah, this is going to be a really simple guide for you guys. So first of all, the first thing you have to be is you have to be 10 prestige in order to get any of these weapons. So basically what that means is you you need to head over to Colo Colon Shops and you do have to be 99 in every skill, not 125. You just need to be 99 and then you can climb up the ladder and you can talk to the Prestige Master and just say, I would like to Prestige and he pretty much resets your stats and you level up in Prestige. So I think we're currently like 13 Prestige or something. So just press Prestige all skills. So yeah, we're now Prestige 15. So you only need to be 10. So basically it is really easy to level up him. Like the HP rates are ridiculous. So it shouldn't be too difficult. So a really good way to Prestige quickly is just by getting a four times XP ring, which is only worth like 15 trillion game and then click on the hunter skill and it will teleport you to this guy so i believe ba catching baby implings are the quickest way and yeah if you catch a lot of baby implings you can actually talk to this guy and you can buy yourself an imagine huge xp lamps for only 250 in points and you only need four of these to max so literally four of these will get you to 99 in all stats while wearing the four times xp ring right so the second thing you need to get one of these buried weapons is a grip so it ranges from 10 percent all the way to 100 percent now there's three different ways you can do this the first way which is what a lot of people do is a three raids. There are a lot of requirements for that. See, so as you can see, there's three different types of raids. Obviously, the best ones are death raids, but there are a lot of requirements. So to join a novice raid, you need at least 5,000 total NPC kills, and it costs either 5 troll or 25 donated points to enter. For the balance raids, you have to have completed 50 novice raids, along with 500 lucky knight kills and 100 rage virago kills. And finally, for the death raids, you need 50 balance raids, 2,500 total kills, and yeah, there's a lot of requirements for that, but that is by far the best one. So the second way is through card flips. So the the way to get card flips is either through the world boss, which spawns like every six hours, I believe, or by donating on the donator store. So as you can see, you can either buy regular card flips or enhanced card flips, which are a lot better. And they're only $1 and $3 each. They are pretty cheap. And the chances of getting a grip for them are not that rare. But the third way of getting grips is at the exclusive shop, which even Iron Men can access. So yeah, that can also be found upstairs at the shops. And yeah, he's over here. So as you can see, you can only buy 10% to 60% grips. So you can't buy 70 to 100%. And those ones are only from raids or from card flips. And yeah, you can just straight up buy them for cash, which is pretty convenient. So a lot of people just buy the 60% ones because that gives the best chance of getting one of these weapons. All right, so now it's time to explain how to actually get these weapons. So yeah, they're really close to home. So as you can see, southeast of the bank, there's two weapons here, which are the Cutlass and the Widowmaker, which are the two melee swords. And if you head southwest of the bank, you can find the bow and the staff. So basically how these grips work is because I currently have a 100% one, it's going to automatically use the best grip possible. So the percentage next to the grip basically means the percentage chance of of pulling out the weapon from this like rock. So if you have a 100% grip, which is the most expensive one, you're 100% guaranteed to get a chance of either of these weapons. So you're pretty much guaranteed it. But yeah, if you don't have much cash, you can only afford like a 10% grip or something, which only costs 600 trolls to be honest, whereas this one is 6.4 quads. So that is very expensive. You'd have a 10% chance of getting out the weapon. So it is like a gamble, but then again, you could get the most overpowered weapon in game for only 600 trolls. So yeah, let's grab one of these weapons. So we will have a 100% chance at the moment and we're gonna use up the 100% grip. So your grip actually does get used up so you'd have to be willing however much money you're paying for the grip so let's pull out the cutlass so we got our very own cutlass cutlass so there's actually a few numbers next to the cutlass and i'm going to explain what they mean the 694 is basically the additional strength bonus you get from the cutlass so it has a base strength of 8000 and yeah the number that you pull out is the additional strength bonus so as you can see it's currently 8694 but yeah the reason this system is such a gamble is because you're gambling on whether you actually get a buried weapon unless you have 100 percent one but second of all you're gambling on like what additional base strength bonus 
bonus you get. So yeah, this number can vary anywhere between 0 to 7,000. So the maximum possible strength bonus is 15,000. So I'm going to put some statistics on the screen. So as you can see, there's a 70% chance of getting up to one quarter of the maximum additional bonus, which is between 0 to 1750. There's a 20% chance of getting up to a half of the maximum bonus, which is between 1,751 to 3,500. There's a 7% chance of getting up to two thirds of the additional maximum strength bonus, which is between 3,500 to 4,700. And finally, there's a 3% chance of the maximum additional strength bonus, which is between 4,701 to 7,000. So pretty much the best cutlass in game is getting a plus 7,000. I don't think I've actually seen anyone actually have that, but yeah, that would be by far one of the most OP ones. So yeah, we did get really unlucky with our one. We only got 694, which is like one of the worst ones you can get. And I do know people who've literally spent like hundreds of cores on these and still not got like the maximum strength bonus. So from the second one, 89. Jesus, that is so bad. All right, 2,507. So that's actually like a 20% chance. So that is kind of lucky. But if you got the plus 7,000 one, that would be by far the best melee weapon in game. But obviously you'd have to spend a lot of money on grips in order to get one of those. So yeah, now I'm going to explain how the other weapons work. So all three of these weapons work in exactly the same way. So they all have a base 40,000 strength bonus on their respective like styles. So as you can see, the Widowmaker has a plus 40,000 strength bonus. The Staff has a plus 40,000 magic bonus and the bow has a plus 40,000 range bonus. So I'll put some stats on the screen, but basically the maximum additional bonus is 25,000. So yeah, that is a pretty huge amount of additional strength bonus. So yeah, we did get really unlucky that we got such like terrible bonuses on our weapons. It's probably going to take a few tries to get some decent ones. So yeah, there's a 70% chance of up to one fourth of the maximum additional damage, which is between zero to 6,250. There's a 20% chance of up to one half of the additional maximum strength bonus which is between 6,250 to 12,500. There's a 7% chance of up to two thirds of the additional maximum strength bonus, which is between 12,500 to 16,666. And finally, there's a 3% chance of the maximum strength bonus, which is between 16,667 to 25. So yeah, the maximum strength bonus you can have on any of these three weapons is 65,000, which is absolutely huge. So, yeah, as well as this, when you right click a weapon, you can see it says 300 out of 300. This basically shows how many charges it has. Each charge means you get 100 hits. So 300 charges is like 30,000 hits. So as you hit a monster 100 times, it goes down a charge, basically. If it reaches zero, which you shouldn't let happen, it actually disappears. But there is a way of recharging it. So yeah, you can easily recharge these by just getting hell powder from hell chest. So hell keys and hell chests are most frequently dropped by tormented demons, but there's so many ways to get them in the game. I guarantee if you play the game just like normally, you'll end up with a lot of these. I believe you can even get them from like mystery boxes as well. So use the hell keys on the hell chest and you'll get open hell chests. And each of these give you a hundred hell powder guaranteed each. And you can use these on the bows to recharge it to 300 durability. So yeah, it's as simple as that. And you can also buy hell keys and hell chests from other players. So it is very easy to repair your buried weapons. See, so yeah, I believe it costs 50 hell powder per charge. So 500 hell powder would be 10 charges, basically. If your weapon was at like one out of 300, which you should never like let it reach, to be honest, you should always recharge it every now and then, keep it as high as possible, you know? That'd mean it costs around 15,000 hell powder to recharge it to full, which isn't that many, to be honest. So yeah, make sure you keep your weapons fully charged. So yeah, there's another way to make your weapons even more powerful. So you can actually add charges to this and you can do that by going to the item exchanger just north of the bank. And it does cost quite a bit of money. Like I'm currently using a golden katana worth 1.4 quadrillion and you can actually grind it into charges. So this is worth 840 item charges. So each item is worth a different amount of charges. And yeah, then you get them. So <laughs> that's what the item looks like. And you can actually use these on each of these buried weapons to give it charges. So your weapon now has 840 charges. So that's a different number. So yeah, the amount of charges you get is basically 60% of what it's actually worth. So if you tried like turning it into one bill tokens, you can see that you'd get around one quad, whereas the item is worth 1.7 quad, 1,000, 1,000 of the amount that it grinds for. And the amount of charges that you actually get is basically 0.1% of what the item actually grinds for. But yeah, these charges are very useful. Now, basically what this does is you do have to stay above 100 charges. And while it has above 100 charges on the weapon, you get an additional 10% strength bonus, which is actually pretty significant. 
so yeah i'd say it's definitely worth keeping it charged as well but yeah i do believe you lose a charge every single hit so yeah it can be pretty costly so i'd only use like a charged weapon against like bosses that you'd need it for so yeah it's really easy to work out the strength bonus just from right clicking it so how you do that is you take 8000 which is the base strength bonus add the number next to it which is 2507 and then you calculate 10 percent of that so that's 10 percent of 10507 which is 1050.7 and yeah the 10 percent is from it being charged as well so you add that to the strength bonus and you end up with 11,557. So yeah, that does sound fairly complicated, but it's not that difficult, I promise. So that means the maximum strength bonus, if you had a 7,000 additional bonus and it was charged, would be 16,500. And bear in mind, a Hellstorm sword, which is worth 18 quad, is only 14,300. So yeah, I believe this attacks like even quicker as well. So if you get a good cutlass, that is the best weapon in game. Now, after doing all that, there is one way to make your item even better. So as you can see, when I right click on my like my armor and my hellstorm sword there is a plus 30 bonus on it and you can actually make your cutlers plus 30 as well so pretty much all the items you need are in the data store which is really convenient but you can obtain heaven stones like lucky ores finer stones and all the master stones from doing loads of stuff in game but yeah i am actually going to make another video explaining how that plus 30 upgrade system works since it is fairly complicated as well but yeah i, I hope you guys enjoyed my guide on the buried weapons and how they work how to upgrade them how to get the best possible ones and yeah definitely say try getting these weapons in game yourself because they are so overpowered man like literally any boss any monster will just be destroyed when you equip one of these <laughs> and they even look amazing as well like that sword just looks awesome man but yeah guys i hope you found that guide useful leave any comments if you have any questions about how it works but i think i covered everything and yeah if you guys did enjoy then make sure to leave a like on the video and don't forget to enter that giveaway at the start of the video for the grips and then you can get yourselves your own buried weapons from winning that and yeah definitely do check out imagine ps guys like it has so much unique content just like this buried weapon system it's actually insane so yeah the link to the imagine ps is in the description below and it's also a referral link so clicking that link would really help me out so make sure you do that and yeah thanks for watching guys and now i'm gonna pick the giveaway results from the previous video so good luck to everyone